Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. And here we're joined by Chef Jonathan Cartwright of the White Barn Inn here in Kennebunkport, Maine. And of course our featured artist for today, Mr. Edward Gordon. Hi. Nice to have you here, sir. My pleasure, thank you. And owner of the Maine Art Gallery, Mr. John Spain. And we are here uh, as part of the Arts and the Inns Festival. Welcome to my favorite week of the year. And this is a sort of a celebration of visual art and culinary art, and a marriage of the two. And Mr. Gordon, you created just a masterpiece. Thank you. Yes, and what was the inspiration behind this piece that you've created? Well, believe it or not, it started out as a um, still life of bowl of apples mm -hmm. and on my dining room table in Vermont and it, the apples were actually green when I started but then we made them red because someone complained <laughs> but then I kept drawing back and the bowl of apples got smaller and this is my dining room and that's what we ended up with oh wonderful. of course I added the ocean to add more interest to the painting yes beautiful and your your culinary masterpiece you're going to create is uh, inspired by by Mr. Gordon's piece, correct? Well, that's right. You know, in the festival, we try to pair food and art together. So we take inspiration from the um, uh, canvas work and we try to uh, put that into our work and our, uh, this time we're doing a bit of seafood, so scallops, the ocean, as Edward said, is on there. And we're using apples as the flavoring to go along with that. Mr. Spade, you will be joining us at the end as well for the tasting, correct? Uh, I certainly will. We're going to sear the scallops. We're going to do apple with a little bit of variation to go in with the painting that we have here. Mm -hmm. And obviously then we're just going to do a little bit of frothy um, celery foam to go with that to give it that ocean Ooh, look to foam. it and a little different nice. flavor. So we're going to start off with a, a caramel with a little bit of vanilla in there. And we're going to do a couple of different ways of the apple. Some are going to be sweet and vanilla. -y. Others are going to be um, a little sweet, but mm -hmm. with a little bit of vinegar to give it acidity in there as well. You told me something very interesting before the show. Uh, your road to being an artist uh, was a little atypical. You were actually a CPA before becoming an artist, correct? Yeah. Yes, I was for about 14 years. I always loved art and uh, didn't like being an accountant and was always pretty good at art and so I just decided to start doing paintings Explore one day. Explore that passion. Yeah. Okay. We're just doing the apples with a little bit of the caramel this time and now a little bit of white wine vinegar. So we're using the same pan, we're not messing up too many pans. One thing I noticed about your painting today, the one that we're featuring, it's actually entitled Apples, correct? That's right. Are most of your paintings scenes such as this, or is it just things that inspire you throughout? I paint mostly interiors. I, I like see. the interplay of light and shadows and reflections, mm -hmm. and I like furniture and doorways and windows, and I always like to put something Oh, something dreamy out the window. And speaking of interiors, we have some beautiful pieces that are decorating our set here from Spaces Kennebunkport. Mm -hmm. Some very unique home furnishing pieces. Uh, they actually have furniture as well, beds and, and armchairs and uh, some unique little lamps and pillows, uh, all with an artistic I touch. Know. You know, it's, it's not the typical home furnishings that you'd find elsewhere. Okay, we're gonna put, do the artistic bit which I'm okay. sure Edward could plate this up better than me, but we're going to use no way. a couple This is where you get to showcase your artistic talents when you're plating up your food like this. Then we're going to nicely sear off the scallops, which are going to be the, mm -hmm. the last thing to go on there. We made the sauce, so we sweated down the celery, the onions, blended mm -hmm. it up a little bit. We're going to just give it a little bit of a buzz before we plate up. You know, always sear them on a high heat. I've got both zones on on this uh, electric top. And we're so fortunate to have been able to create a kitchen here in a tent along the water. Uh, compliments of uh, central appliances, who you are very um, comfortable with. Oh, know very, a lot of that. very much so. Very it, high end. Uh, it is. Wolf they have and Sub Zero, the best products. They they do have the best products, and they have wonderful customer service, and that's always mm -hmm. important for me in this business that we have that. And you know, like with um, artists, they need wonderful galleries like um, John Spain's Main right. Art, so that they can go over there and get the customer service because sometimes us. As artists, we're a little shy and we hide away from people. Yeah, we need people like that, like John. We, exactly. <laughs> so it's a great partnership all around. These scallops came from a good friend of mine at Seaport Seafood, so they're mm -hmm. very, very fresh. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of the sauce, and then the rest is the little touches to the artwork. And you know, just like a, a, a picture, we need a nice plate John's with a nice thing. frame around it. Could be in your gallery, that couldn't it? It looks fabulous. It yes. looks fabulous. You came just in time to enjoy. What could be better? We're surrounded by oh, beautiful thank so art. Thank you. Wonderful people from the state of Maine. Arts in the Inns Festival. 
John, we love your gallery. Well, thank you very much. Is this your first time participating in this festival? No, we've, we've been involved since the beginning. It's, uh, you it's, have? As I told you, it's my favorite week of the year, and it has been since uh, the idea was started five years ago. Mm. Very good. John, mm. you must try yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely will. Beautifully, perfectly cooked. Good, yeah, good. Marvelous, gentlemen. Jonathan, it's been such, mm. such a pleasure to be friend. with you today. All mm. of you enjoying fine art, fine food, culinary masterpieces, and just a consortium of all those things here in Kennebunkport, Maine. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on The Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.